when one bottle of Vu falls, another rises. I'm Victoria Cooksey, and this is Random Dish, Sparkling Wine Extreme Bubble Edition. First up, we have Prosecco from Italy. It's actually made from the Grella grape, but a lot of times it's just referred to as Prosecco grape. This is so good, both of them with pizza. I have them with pizza almost every Friday. This one, the Pink Pinello, has a little bit of rose scent to the nose. The Lamarca tends to have a touch of honey in the taste, but it's not sweet. And actually, the Lamarca is one I think would be very good for doing toast at like a wedding, wedding reception, and very affordable. Pinello's around $13. The Lamarca is going to run you around $15, depending where you get it. Next up, we have Segura Viudas, a nice rose cava. This one comes from Spain, where our Proseccos were made with one Italian grape. Cava is actually usually made from three Spanish grapes. And this is going to go really good with ham or just as a nice toasting drink on its own. This one, you'll get hints of flavor like grapefruit, almond, blood oranges, and honey. Again, but it's not sweet, but very drinkable. This is 130 Casa Valduga. This is actually a sparkling wine from Brazil. It's made from Chardonnay and Pinot Noir and in the Champagne method. So a lot like Champagne, but it's not because it's from Brazil. This one really has a nice lemony citrus taste. I really love it. Very fresh. Probably be really good for summer as well. And I've had a lot of Champagnes and I will say this one tastes a lot like Champagne. And I think it runs around 17 a bottle. Now we've come to my absolute favorite of faves. We've got some true champagne going on right here. And to be true champagne, it's got to come from the actual champagne region of France. So we actually have Vouve Clicquot, a statement that they usually have said in the past at least is it's an affordable luxury. And I absolutely agree because this tends to be 39, sometimes up to 44 a bottle depending on how the market's going. This is an ice jacket that they've got on them for the holidays, but otherwise you're going to be looking for just like this, which I already had this one. Vouv is made from Pinot Meunier, Pinot Noir, and Chardonnay, so we've got three grapes going on right here. This, you're going to, when you open up a champagne, you're going to have kind of a yeasty bread-like quality. Sometimes you're going to have citrus. There's so many different flavors. You're also looking in quality at the bubbles. The smaller the bubble and the more furious, that means the higher the quality of the item as well. So for me, this is a very affordable champagne, especially if you go look at the price of all the others. This is pretty good. And it's my favorite. We taste tested three different types of cracker to see which would go best with the champagne for when you're serving it with cheese or snacks at your holiday party. Did the water cracker, a wheat cracker, and kind of a golden buttery cracker. The water cracker really just, it brought out maybe a little citrus notes in the champagne, but it tended to make the bubbles taste kind of flat. So we said no to that based on the texture. The golden cracker, really killed off a lot of the good acidity in the wine that you want to taste and the texture didn't seem to work either so no to that buttery cracker so personally i was surprised by the wheat cracker this one the texture worked well it didn't fight with any of the flavors so it really let you enjoy the champagne to the fullest flavor so yay for wheat crackers you win today besides the crackers we also tried seven different types of cheese to see which one would go best with true champagne and our absolute number top favorite was delice de bouillon it's luxurious the fat goes great with the acidity of the champagne and it doesn't kill the bubbles so this one was definitely our top winner second in line was the reserve cheddar by carry gold this one had a good nuttiness that went with the champagne, a little bit of tartness, brought out lemon as well in the champagne, and also it did not fight with the bubbles. And both of these were tried with Vouve Clicquot champagne, so perfect for that for your next party. And now let's find out how to pop your cork.
pop your cork yourself when you can get someone else to do it. So we've got our bubbly ready. I've also got a little bucket with some ice and some water so the bottle goes in there really easy. Champagne glass. Now because this is Prosecco, it doesn't bubble up as much so you can actually pour it like this. But if this was the actual champagne, pouring it like that, it'll bubble all the way out. So let me show you how to pour a champagne. Hmm, since I'm going to show you how to pour a champagne and I might drink it, I, I don't want this glass, I want these. Set your glasses down, take your bottle and you're going to pour just a little. And then just let it subside a bit and then you're going to fill them up the rest of the way. And that actually controls the bubbles a lot better. I'm Victoria Cooksey. Happy Holidays, Happy New Year. Cheers, slancha, salut. glasses of bubbly. Time to go find that tall guy that pops corks.